that the Lord has blessed us to come together to praise and lift up his holy name. And uh, we're just happy to be here in the name of Jesus. For the Lord is great. He's greatly to be praised. He's to be feared above all gods. So we bless his holy name. And uh, we thank the Lord for this time. We're coming together to lift up the name of Jesus. And um, we're going to have some words from Lady uh, Winetta Whittier. And then we're going to pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Uh, we're thanking God for blessing us to be here and uh, keeping us in our right mind, health, and our strength. We're able to um, get through another day and, and to see the goodness of the Lord and how God has blessed us even on this rainy day that he still bless us to have shelter and to have all of our needs met and uh, he's still blessing and we yes, hear about yes. uh, I heard a lot of praise reports on those that we have been praying for on our prayer line and I, I thank God for the manifestation of the prayers of the righteous of Ellen much yes, yes. that the, those that we're praying for are opening their eyes and breathing and um, delivered healing is taking place and we just give that all the glory to God and we praise him for who he is and for being a prayer answering God and we bless him that you know he it, he hears our cry and he honors what we, our request is and um, and we just thankful for that yes. we're thankful for all of that he is doing in our lives and so we pray and hope that you are uh, ready to receive a good word from the Lord, some encouragement, um, some ways in, of life and according to the word of God, that you may um, have a desire to walk upright before the Lord and, and to be pleasing in his sight. Even so, you know, these days and times the way things are, it's just good to be in the house, uh, in the house of the Lord and in the hands of God and to be called the people of God. And so, you know, call your friends that are not a part of the kingdom of God and let them know that um, there's a word getting ready to go out and that would help them to um, know who God is, to introduce them to our Lord and our Savior and let them know that God, you know, died on the cross and that he gave, brought us to us salvation and for them to receive him. And so we are just excited about being um here on on live tonight and and we pray that you um will just come on in and and uh and enjoy the lord with us because mm -hmm. he is greatly to be praised yes he is at this time we're going to have a word of prayer you all dear father in the name of jesus we pray that you'll bless us as we go forward this evening Lord, that we go forth in the power and the anointings of the Holy Ghost. We pray, Father, if there's anybody sick, that you would heal them. Yes. If there's anybody weak, that you would strengthen them. Lord, we pray, oh God, against any attacks of the enemy. And we just ask that that hedge of protection be around us, Father, for us to do your will, oh God. And not just here at this location where we are, Father, but in every home, every one connected, oh God, Lord, that's praying and interceding with us, oh God. We pray for the people of God everywhere, yes, not just Lord. in this country, oh God, but in other countries where they are sharing this word, oh God, and, and, and sharing and partaking and yes. what you're doing here father lord and we just want to thank you lord and bless your thank holy you name lord. in jesus name we pray amen amen let me give a few shout outs here real quick you all we just want to thank the lord for everybody that's on we thank the lord for uh, uh elder and uh uh, James Whittier and Sister Carol Whittier, we thank the Lord for you all. Thank the Lord for uh, Vicki Applewhite. God bless you, Sister Vicki. Uh, Eugene, Elder Eugene Hosey, we thank the Lord for you. Thank the Lord for you. Amen. Uh, Sister Veronica Benoit and, and Flora ben, uh, Benoit, we thank the Lord for you. We thank the Lord for Ann Bush Curry, Evangelist Ann Bush Curry. Uh, thank the Lord for Sister Lucretia Brooks. Uh, my friend, Brother Joe Howard, amen. Praying God bless and continue to strengthen you. Brother Joe Howard, Jr., Amen. We thank the Lord for you. We thank the Lord for Amen. Sister Charlotte and Lily. Amen. Thank the Lord for Mother Fields. We thank the Lord for you. Yes, sir. We thank the Lord for you. Uh, Brother Zion Walker. Amen. We thank the Lord for you, Zion. Uh, Sister Cynthia Roberts and her mom, Shirley. We thank the Lord Amen. for you. We thank the Lord for uh, 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 Sister <coughs> Mother Laverne Smith. May the Lord bless Amen. you, Mother, and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord to Kelly uh, for us. Uh, praise the Lord for... Um, uh, Sister Deborah King, I don't see her on yet, but we thank the Lord for Sister Deborah King. Thank the Lord for uh, Sister Willie May Ward. May the Lord bless She's you. Honored. Amen. Sister King's on there. God yes. bless you, Sister King, yes. all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. Amen. We thank the Lord for Evangelist Betty Purnell. God bless you. Yes. And her mom, uh, Evangelist Abby Reed. We thank the Lord for you, amen. I thank the Lord for uh, Elder Moti Eddington. May the Lord bless you. 
uh, Pastor, and uh, just give those blessings to uh, Pastor Joe Lewis for us. We thank the Lord for you. Thank the Lord uh, for um, my Aunt Wanda. Amen. Aunt Wanda Bivens. Yes. Uh, God bless you. And Chris you. and Tanika, they're in Dallas, Texas. We thank the Lord for you. Uh, Sister Jackie Gray Curtis and Brittany, we thank Amen. the Lord for you. And that great baby, we thank Amen. the Lord for you all. Uh, Sister Marquita Hartman in your household, Ramon and Courtney and the uh, 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 Deasia and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Deanna. Amen. We thank the Lord for you all. Praise God. I just want to give everybody this shout out. Let you know we appreciate you. Amen. Again, we thank the Lord uh, uh, for each and every one of you because you're special. Uh, uh, Evangelist Stacy Fields, uh, uh, thank the Lord for you. Mother uh, uh, and sister uh, Pauletta Fields, we thank the Lord for you. Uh, Evangelist Teresa Jones, amen. Thank the Lord for you guys, your prayer warriors. Certainly praise the Lord for you. Amen. Thank the Lord for Pastor and Lady uh, Hamilton, yes, uh, Pastor right. James and Sister uh, Lady Joanne Hamilton, yes. uh, Sister Thelma, Thelma Abernathy. We thank the Lord for you, asking God to continue to strengthen you. Uh, Ernest Forehand, we praise God for you. Elder and, 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 and Sister Riney, uh, we thank the Lord for Elder and Evangelist Riney. We thank the Lord for you all. And may God bless you. We're just excited, you all, about Amen. who God is, what he's doing. Elder Victor Whittier, Sister Chantel Whittier, mm -hmm. uh, Brother Troy here, Sister uh, to Natasha here, we thank the Lord for you, Amen. All of you families, we want you to know that you're special and you mean something Amen. to us. Uh, we were uh, still in our uh, session on uh, the six things that God hates, yea, seven are an abomination to him. And we're coming uh, today uh, from uh, Proverbs 6 and verse number 18, where it says uh, uh, that a heart that divides wicked imaginations, and we're on that part that says, feet that be swift. And run into mischief. Yeah. Feed that be swift and run into mischief. And we started covering this, you all, for those of you just joined in for the first time. We started covering this last year. And just wanted to get at those things that get at us. Those things that can make us slip up, miss out what God is saying to us. Mm -hmm. Take a step in the wrong direction. We need to be aware of where we're stepping. We need to make sure that our steps are being ordered by the Lord. We need to make sure that we're hearing from God. And that we're not allowing the enemy to get into our, our minds to, to lead us astray. We got to keep our eyes on the prize. And of course, we know that prize is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Before I forget, we want to also thank the Lord for Elder and the, uh, our Sister uh, Reddick. Amen. We thank the Lord for you all. We thank the Lord for Mother Dolores Turner in her household. Thank the Lord for each and every one of you in the household. Thank the Lord for Mother Queen Whittier. Amen. And thank the Lord for each and every one in the household. Thank the Lord for Elder Evangelist Durham. We thank the Lord for just everybody because God is doing great things in our lives and we all got a reason to praise and lift up the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. He's always worthy to be praised. And so when we look at this passage of scripture, First Lady Whittier, where it talks about feet that are uh, swift to uh, run into mischief, we need to understand that we need to sometimes uh, pump our brakes before we get into certain things, mm -hmm. you know, because everything uh, doesn't, everything going on doesn't mean you have to be in it. You know, some things you got to step back and say, oh, wait a minute, you know, is this something that, that God is going to get the glory out of it? If God can't get any glory out of what I'm doing, then I don't need to be doing it. If it's going to hurt somebody and I got a way of, of keeping that hurt from happening, then I need to be promoting peace and not war. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, one of the things I want to just reiterate with us is that to keep in mind the beginning part, even though we've gone through many of these um, things, that, but the key focus is to remember that these are the things that we're naming. These are the things that the Lord hates. Yes. And the seventh is an abomination unto him, yes. which is worse than, than all, you know, if you... If you can't get any worse in trouble, then that's an, anything abomination yeah. to God is just, it just shouldn't be. It and so be. I, I want to reiterate these things that we're talking about or things that God hate. And so you don't, if you are a, a Christian or you are a child of God, you will not find yourself doing any of these things. And so um, because the enemy comes in to still kill and destroy us, he would, he would cause us to think that. If we're doing these things that we're okay, that, you know, you know, it's okay. But God is saying, these are the things that I hate. Amen. I absolutely hate them. Absolutely. There's no way around, no excuses, no nothing. If you're doing these things, 
God hates that. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, look, I want to give a shout out to my friend, uh, Brother Carl Jones is in the house. We thank the Lord for you, Brother Carl Jones. Amen. Thank the Lord for you. Uh, uh, Katasha Faith Walker Anderson is in the house. We praise God for you. And as First Lady Whittier is saying, you know, we need to really, really make sure that we're hearing from God and not allow ourselves to get in trouble with God. Because God, amen, is he's, he's in our minds, in our hearts, in our spirits. Everywhere we go, you know, we cannot hide from God. So if there's anything in your heart, make sure that it's pure. Make sure that it's something that's going to please God. If there's anything in your heart, any secrets of your heart, let those secrets be something that God can see and smile on. Because, you know, he's the one that knows us inward and outward. The Bible says that man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. So we got to keep that in mind all the time that God is looking at our hearts. And sometimes, you know, we may uh, find our hearts uh, straying in a, in a direction of maybe anger or something along that line. And it could be uh, a, a, a self-righteous type of anger and a, an unjust type anger because there are different types of anger. And we're going to talk about that one day, the various types of anger. But there, but if you got an unrighteous anger or bitterness in you, then you need to get that out of you. You need to uh, uh, find yourself saturating in prayer and asking God to move that from you, asking God to just strengthen you to where you want to allow whatever that thing is to, to gnaw at your spirit. Because it's, it's like a canker, you know, it'll just wear, wear on you and you may forget about it for a minute. Uh, but as soon as you're touching it, it pains mm -hmm. because it's there. It's a, it's a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. So you need to not make it be a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. Because God, again, looks at the heart. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God is looking at our heart. And we want to make sure our hearts are pleasing to the Lord. Amen. We thank the Lord for Evangelist Mildred Buchanan. Thank the Lord for Sister Myra uh, Jones, Sister uh, First Lady Julia Duke. Amen. All the way from Florida. Amen. We thank the Lord for you. And, and, and greetings to your uh, husband as well, Pastor as well. Amen. We thank the Lord for you. Uh, we thank the Lord for Pastor uh, Philip Parsum and, and Lady Parsum from, uh, uh, from Guyana, South America, and all of our friends and family in Guyana, South America. Amen. God is doing great things all over this land, and we need to be a part of what God is doing, because I believe we're in, a, in that day where we need to be bold as, as, as the world is, First Lady. Yes. You know, this this lesson we're talking about is feet that are swift to run into mischief, but I think need to be swift to doing what oh, pleases God. Right. I think need to be directed toward in the direction that's going to bring honor and glory to God. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I never want to lose that excitement. Mm -hmm. Of, of praising God. I never want to use, lose that excitement of, of magnifying God. It's people like uh, 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 Elder and, and Sisters uh, Ewing, uh, James and Sally Ewing, you know, good people uh, that love God. You know, we want to stay connected with people like that that's, that's praising God and, and sold out totally to God mm -hmm. about what they're doing. So we, we praise God for them and we praise God for what he's doing in all of our lives. Right. I want to, want to talk about the feet that, it says the feet that be swift in other words, quick to run to mischief. What are you running to? What is mischief? Um, uh, it, 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 mischief is a cause or source of harm, evil, or irritation. Uh -huh. So why are you so quick in, to do those things that won't benefit you at all, but it would hurt other people? You're right. quick, amen, to, to, to go and do uh, uh, harm to someone else uh, it, well, you say, well, what, what, what am I doing? You got those that are gossiper, tail bearers, you know, people that just run out to destroy right. uh, other people uh, uh, because of of uh, what you are feeling or how you feel. You're so quick to do with that. You don't realize that what you're doing is really destroying yourself because these are the things that will separate you from God. Amen. There's no in a way. There's no way in the world that you can say I am a child of God, but you are always backbiting, or you're always tail bearing, or you always got something on somebody. Uh -huh. Amen. You 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 can't live that kind of life because those are those are uh, uh, what the Scripture says is the the children of the devil. Right. Those are those are the children of disobedient right. that want to run and, and sow discord or quick to cause your brother or your sister, Amen, to to be caught into something or. or or you're going to get them back. You're so quick, amen, to, to cause 
harm to someone else, you don't realize that the enemy is is trying to destroy you. Amen. That's absolutely right, First Lady. The enemy is always trying uh, to find ways to trap us up, make us mm -hmm. do things that are displeasing to God. And sometimes, you know, people can really uh, try to start out doing things the right way and, and, and they get tangled up in self and they get tangled up in, yes, and, and, and things that uh, God is not in. And they find themselves further out there than what they want to be. Yeah. And so we got to always be praying and making sure that our steps are being ordered by the Lord. Exactly. You know, Psalm 37, 23 says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure our steps are being ordered by the Lord. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Mother uh, Spence. Mother Minnie Spence, we thank the Lord for you, Mother Spence, uh, being in the house, amen, and we thank the Lord for you and your entire family. Mm -hmm. uh, give our shout out to Sister Othello, amen. Also, we thank the Lord for Sherry Adams. God bless you, Sister Sherry Adams. Uh, Lakeisha Candies, we thank the Lord for you, amen, and, and your household brand, God's blessings upon you, amen, as we go forward, amen, in this lesson, mm -hmm. amen. Again, for those of you just coming on, we're uh, reading from Proverbs chapter number six, and we're at verse number 18, the part B of that mm -hmm. uh, particular uh, verse where it says, uh, feet that are swift and running to evil. Mm -hmm. These are things that God is displeased with, feet that are swift to running to evil. You don't want to run to evil, you want to run mm -hmm. to doing good. We, we are enemies to evil. We don't, right. e evil should not feel comfortable around us. Neither should we feel comfortable around evil. Mm -hmm. And look, there are people in our lives. There are people on the job. There are people in our community, neighbors, whatever, that may try to bring uh, 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 some bad part of who you are, what they feel is in you. They think you just maybe pretentious because you're a Christian and they don't really believe in who you are. But you know what? We got to let them know that we, the old man has passed away and all things have become new and that we're living our lives to the glory of God. Mm -hmm. You know, and that so there's what they see is what they get. There's no hidden agenda mm -hmm. on our part because we are totally sold out to God. I'm reminded of a song we used to sing, Whose side are you leaning on? I'm leaning you know, on the Lord. You, and and that, would, that would be the question of the day. Whose side are you leaning on based on those things? And, and you can tell whose side you're leaning on. Acts, Acts the 13th chapter, verse number 10, talks about those that are doing mischief, right. those that are being swift to uh, run to mischief. And it says, uh, verse number 10 says, And said, O full of all sub, sub, subtlety and all mischief, Thou, chul, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Whose side are you leaning on? Based on your walk and quick to, to uh, show, to run the evil or quick to do bad or, or to do wrong, uh, uh, tells whose side you're leaning on. If you're leaning on the Lord's side, you're walking in the path of righteousness. But if you're leaning towards mischief, if you're doing uh, evil things, then you are a child of the devil. You're not of God. You, right. you, you, there's no way that uh, uh, light and darkness can go together. It, it doesn't work like that. You, you have to uh, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve, right. whether you're going to see serve uh, God or, or man. Right. You, you, you have to choose your side. You know, um, sometimes you, you get so angry and caught up in your emotions and that you start lashing out to people that, you know, have nothing to do with what's going on in your life. Absolutely. And a lot of times you, we find this a lot of time with people that are, 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 are angry all the time and they want you to be miserable because they're miserable, right. you know, because they can't cope with what they're, uh, 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 uh or going through or what they're dealing with. And so you got to be make, you got to be sure that that you are on the Lord's side and that God is that you receive God as your savior and walk close to the Lord because the enemy he's tricky like that. You know, he'll come to make you think that you're doing right when you're not doing doing right. You're not you know, you're caught up in your own ways and your own thoughts and 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 you're not even Comparing it with the word of God. And so that's how it's so easy for you to walk off into the wrong uh, path. Absolutely, first lady. There's a passage of scripture that says that there's a way. And in Proverbs, that says there's a way that seems right, right to a man. Right. But the end thereof are the ways of death. That's you know, right. so because something may seem right to you, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's right. Mm -hmm. you know, so the, the blueprint 
for righteousness is the Bible. So go into the word of God and see what does the word of God say what about that say? situation. You know, not about your feelings. You know, because a lot of times we can get lost in our feelings. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the Bible tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Your heart will lead you down a wrong path. Your heart will lead you to doing something that displeases God. And before you know it, you're so deep into it and you don't know how you got there. Yeah. It's because you start chasing your feelings and not basing things on the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking last night in the Bible class and I said something uh, that I heard a preacher say that uh, stuck with me, a uh, teacher I was listening to. He said, look, we need to, we need to talk to ourselves, not listen to ourselves. Because when you listen to yourself, then you're going to tell you what you want to hear. Yeah, but when you talk exactly. to you and you tell you, no, you're not going to have your way flesh. That you're not going to have what you want. The word of God says this. The word of God says that. Mm -hmm. So we have to rebuke ourselves. We have to bring ourselves into subjection. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians 9, 27. And, and preach to ourselves. That's and remind right. ourselves that we need, to be, we need to be saved. We need to be holy in all manner of conversation. Mm -hmm. And that this should not be something that's just a Sunday morning thing. It shouldn't just be something when you're around other Christians. Then you got on your Christian uh, persona. But it should be something about who you are all day long, mm -hmm. each and every day. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. at, whether you be at church, at home, at work, wherever you are, mm -hmm. make sure that you're being pure and holy because the Bible says, blessed are the pure and holy, right. for they shall see God. Right. And it, yes, and it, 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 it's very important that you don't be deceived by the enemy. Amen. You, you, everything that, that you deal with is all, it's all in the word of God. All you That's have right. to do is line it up with the word of line God. You can't go wrong That's with right, that. Person. Amen. There's a scripture for everything that you're going through in your That's life. Right. You just right. have to open your book and read. Amen. You have to open your book and, and get to that point where, you know, if, uh, uh, um, growing up, our, our moms and our dads are, uh, taught us that if you couldn't say anything good, don't say nothing at all. Sometimes you got to train yourself. If you have a, a, a problem with holding secrets or you have a problem Watch with uh, being a tail bearer, yeah. I just got to tell somebody, you did, child, honey, did you know that so-and-so did so-and-so? And if you know that you're that person and you're the one keeping things going, you're heaping things that will cause damage to them as well as you're damaging your own self. Absolutely, absolutely. Because everybody, you know, was going to soon know that you carry Right, right. And so you want to make sure you don't fall into that trap. Yeah. Uh, we certainly bless God, amen, for this word, First Lady, because yeah. this word is certainly powerful. Uh, so what we need to hear for such a time as yeah, this. Right now. For such a time as this, a, a right now word. We need that now because there's so much chaos going on in our society, you know, not just in the media, but uh, in our uh, immediate attention, mm -hmm. you know, again, not just in the media, but in our immediate attention, in our communities, in our surroundings, yes. where we are. Because look, you may say, well, look, I'm going to protect myself from the, those kind of settings, this and that mm -hmm. and the other, and I'm not going to go around them. But many times the enemy will come to you. Yeah. He'll bring trouble to your doorstep. He'll bring trouble into your house and try to disrupt your peace. Yes. But you know what? You got to learn how to recognize him afar off and rebuke the devil afar That's off and right. let him know that no, not in this house. That's right. Not in this house. You're not right. gonna. You're not going to corrupt this household. You're not going to corrupt mm -hmm. uh, my line of thinking right. because I'm going to keep my mind and my heart stayed on God, and I want right. to do that, which brings honor. Mm -hmm. and to, glory to, to God. God. Yeah, you don't want to be. What, we used, used to preach this all the time. Don't be a trash can. Amen. For uh, 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 for the enemy to dump all of this on. That's right. And you know, you 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 go through life and you know the enemy try to trip your mind. But this is what the Bible says. And uh, Gal when you were talking, this scripture came up. Okay. Galatians um, uh, six and one. Amen. Says, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such. And one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thy also be tempted. In other words, if you got the goods on somebody, you better learn how to pray, keep it to yourself, pray for them, pray for your, your, your fellow man. Amen. Because if you don't, and if you carry, if you continue to be a, a tail barrier, if you continue to be a truce barrier, if you continue to be a liar, you become, you know, when you, when you uh, open the door for one, all of these things come in, you become a liar and, you know, because you get your story all twisted up and then you tell it the way you want to tell it. But the Bible says you uh, that are, now I'm talking to the, you that are spiritual, that likes to run. And go tell. Amen. The Bible says you have to watch out. Amen. Because you better start praying for them. Because you 
may have to be considered in the same position that these people that you're blast, uh, uh, blasting out and that you're telling all their business. God is saying here, you know, you better be careful. You better start learning how to pray and, 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 and leave it alone and put that in God's hand because half the time the stuff that you know ain't even your business anyway. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you're so quick to go tell it or you're so quick to add to it. Because a lot of times I find out that people that want to be better than somebody else, that's what they do. Yep, yep. yep. That's exactly what they do. Because they find something bad on you makes them feel greater. Makes them feel powerful or more spiritual than you. Amen. But you got to understand, I, in that scripture, I'm telling you, read it again. Galatians 6 and 1. You go, you go back and you read it for yourself because you need to find yourself. If you are one of these, amen, uh, uh, those that are that that say you are a child of God, but you're doing all, wreaking all this uh, stuff, is, you, have, you know, all this stuff that, that's going on and you're adding coals to the fire, right. amen, you got to watch out because you're next. Amen. You're next. You're going to fall. The enemy doesn't like you. He allow you to go and do and, and do his dirty work, and then he'll spit you and, and kick you to the side, because that the scriptures say after sin is done with you, then then it's death. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's you right, know. First Lady. Amen. A shout out to Sister Veronica Lloyd. Amen. And family. Uh, Sister Yolanda McClendon. Uh, there in Arizona. We thank the Lord for you. Sister Lisa Robinson. Uh, God bless you. Lisa uh, uh, Tompkins. We thank the Lord for you. Sylvia Mom is just joined in. We thank the Lord for Sylvia Mom and praying God's blessings upon uh, these households and you just joining in and everybody that's in with us. Yeah. Because you know what? People of God, I believe the Lord is setting us up here in this 2021 uh, year for us to really make an impact in the kingdom of God mm -hmm. uh, uh, as a result of our doing what God has called us to do here on earth. You know, we, 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 we have a limited time and I just believe that, you know, as long as this door of opportunity is open for us to be witnesses for the kingdom of God, we need to be strong witnesses. We need to be mm -hmm. on fire uh, for what God has called us to do. Uh, our sister Charlotte Lily said something about, I'm not a garbage can and I agree with her. We're not a garbage can. Right. And, and so we don't, uh, let people put uh, trash into us. And you know what? Even if you pay attention to what's on the garbage cans in the alley and places that we have around, we have our garbage cans, there is one that say uh, trash, there is one that say recyclables, and then the other is yard waste. You know, so even trash is sorted out. So don't let people bring trash to you uh, because you're not a spiritual garbage can and you should, you can't let, allow and let people drop something into your spirit because, uh, you know, it, it starts eating at you and then you wonder why you're depressed, wonder why you're feeling heavy, right. why, why you're feeling bad, why you're worried about something. It's because you've allowed something unclean to get into your spirit That's and right. to contaminate your spirit. That's so you right. got to protect our heart Please and do. our mind from such things. Please do. Please protect your heart and yes. your mind because God, yes. amen, He these are the things, like I said, he, he he's not loving this. If you right. think God is on your side and this is the way you're walking, then God, is, I gotta let you know, honey, baby, child, that God is not with you and He ain't in you. So you you gotta rethink Watch this out. thing. You know, you gotta say if this is a God thing, you need to compare the things that you say and do. Will God say this? Will God do this? You have to you have to look back and see and know that God is a God of righteousness. Holiness, amen. He 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 he's, he's a God of love, amen. These are attributes that we are supposed to carry, amen. We are supposed to have these same attributes that God has, amen. And and, and you can know those that labor among you by the fruit that they bear, amen. If you know, amen. And we all we all know people that can't. You boy, I'm telling you, when they find something, they they so quick to go and tell it. And and, 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 and and let me talk about those that throw rocks and hide their hands. Amen. You, We know you there. We see you. And God don't like that. Amen. God is letting us know how to live an acceptable and holy life that, you know, that he would accept and that was good uh, uh, for him. Amen. What he wants in us. And those things that is not like God, we have to get rid of them. Just simply stop doing them. 
Amen. You know? Amen. That's right. And we certainly, we bless God. Amen. For, amen, the time that God has blessed us to have here. Amen. And I just want to say this, amen. Uh, you know, we, we are a ministry uh, that does what God has blessed us to do. And this line, this Bible study line, really is d dedicated to teaching the word of God. Amen. And we're just asking anybody to get on, uh, you know, if you're soliciting help or whatever. Well, you know, we are a ministry that try to help. But this time is allotted to the preaching and teaching That's and right. sharing of God's word. And we do our part. I I want to say this to those of us because you know in many temple we're given church but you know at times the lord let us see that we have to exercise some wisdom uh because sometimes the enemy will try to divert our attention from the word of god and we can't allow that to happen you all so i'm asking you know uh you know people that get on regularly you know asking for uh, uh Things, you know, to for you to understand that this is a Bible study line. We're glad you're a part of it. Uh, and uh, we could, the best thing we can say to you is what Jesus uh, anointed the uh, James and John to say uh, when they were at the beautiful gate. They said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have yeah, given unto thee. Now we word. pray that God That's will right. bless you and, right. and God will solidify. And I thank Sister Pauletta for directing this person uh, to, to, to the Urban League, you know, because we, we, we just don't have the means, everybody, to help somebody every week like that uh, we, we go as the Lord bless us and, and uh, I just want to stop and say that because you know we don't want to turn this into something that it's not right, this is a Bible study yes. this is a Bible study lesson that we're talking about feet that are swift to run into, uh, to mischief right. and we don't want to divert from that and uh, so we, we're talking about the word of God we're talking about the word of God. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Mm -hmm. And all these things will be added unto you. So this hour is dedicated to the ministering of God's word because that's what we need. We need the word of God and God will bless. Amen. He will bless. He will bless. Trust God. Pray and ask God. Take this information. There's, there's organizations out there that's helping specifically for things like that. That There's an organization called a Wrap a Bottom. And a Wrap a Bottom, you go get free, free peppers and diapers if you're in St. Louis, uh, the Harvest Harvested Church uh, 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 is the foundation of this Harvested Church in St. Charles. They uh, get in touch with them, and they'll make sure you got what you need. But let us focus on the Word of God. The Word of God. That's what we need right now. The Word of God. All right. Now, okay. Go ahead. Please. I just wanted to say also, uh, uh, I, while you were talking, my eyes just happened to, leak, to go on this particular scripture. It says, where no counsel is. The people fall, right. but in the in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So you know what B Bishop was talking about is true. I mean, we have to stay focused, and we're not going to be distracted because we get a lot of distractions on this line. But God, Amen, is going to His word is going to go out, and that's what you're going to get, Amen. And so, what we were talking about, uh, 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 feet that are swift to, to carry, uh, to uh, uh, swift to uh, run into mischief. Amen. And in other words, carry and tail bear right, and all right, of those things. Right, and I was saying, you know, before uh, that, how a lot of times you can you'll find yourself uh, uh, among the things that God is uh, doesn't want in our lives, and that is not uh, edifying to our bodies or to our soul. And, and uh, being a tail tail bearer, uh, uh, Proverbs uh, Proverbs the let me see Proverbs eleven uh, and verse number thirteen says a tail bearer. Reveal its secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Amen. Consider what you know about someone else, and and like I, I'm going back to praying for those uh, that you know something on. Pray for them. Amen. Don't Amen. don't be quick to uh, cause them cause more harm to them. Don't be quick to jump on the bandwagon. But let your prayer, Amen. Work is work, Amen. Let your prayer do uh, 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 what. You know, let your just pray for them, so that um, you won't find yourself in the same position or 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 worse. You know. Amen. That's absolutely right, first lady. So we have to make sure that we are are uh, hearing from God. Mm -hmm. That's very very important to know and learn the voice of God. And you learn the voice of God by spending time in prayer, seeking yeah, God. Yes. Uh, at, at the book uh, of 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, say pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. You know, So we need to be praying and seeking God. Now that doesn't mean that you, uh, all day long you're just on your knees praying because you can't, you can't do that if God bless you with that time. But what it's saying even in our spirits as we're going, <laughs> praying always, praying uh, about everything. You know, people may say, oh, we don't have to pray for this. You don't have to pray for that. You don't have to pray about this decision. You don't have to pray about that decision, but you have to be prayerful about what you do. You got to be prayerful about 
anything that you do, where you sow a seed, you got to be prayerful about that. You got to be discerning and know that the enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. Right. And so the devil will, will come in like he a sheep or something, but you got to recognize that and know, hey, well, that ain't God. That's, that's the enemy trying right. to trying to divert and, and take my mind off of what God is saying to me. Mm -hmm. So the thing about it is we need to stay focused on the word of God. We need to build ourselves up in our most holy faith. We need to ask God to do what God can, only God can do and then keep on stepping. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus told us that. He said, don't take a purse. Uh, he told uh, the disciples, don't take a purse. Don't take uh, a second coat or anything. He said, just go and tell it on the mountain. Go tell it and then keep on stepping. And right. when they don't hear it or receive it from it, shake the dust from their feet, hold it as there a testimony against it and keep on going. And that's what we got to do, you all. We cannot... We cannot allow the enemy to cause us to fall into this trap here on in, in the 18th verse here of, of uh, Proverbs 16, uh, feet that are swift and run into evil. Mm -hmm. We got to speak the truth. We got to live the truth. We got to carry ourselves in the manner that pleases God all the time. And again, I got to go back to what Sister Charlotte said. You're not a garbage can, so don't let the enemy drop stuff on you that God doesn't intend to be in you. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh and Sister Deborah Key says, when you dig one ditch, you better dig two because the trap you set just might be for you. Amen. That's right, Sister King. That, that's now that's right. Jacksonville, Florida talking there, y'all. But that is so Florida. true. You, you got to By way of St. Louis. Amen. <laughs> right. That is so true. Mother said, yes, and what we are told in secret, don't pray in a group. And reveal their situation. Amen. Right, you got to be careful that when you praying out loud and we're having corporate prayer, and you call, you you're trying to pray for somebody's uh, uh, intimate situation or, or secret situation, and you done stop everybody praying. They trying to hear yeah, what, right, what you yeah. saying about that person. Right. You know what, what what's going on? You know you, you what what's going on? What what you hear about? What what you hear about them? You know. But I I love that. Um, Jesus came to save us, and, and the scripture that says that uh, when, when Jesus said, I come that you might have life and life more abundantly, amen, that's what he come to do. He came to give us life, not, to, not a life of uh, displeasing him, but a life of righteousness, a life of holiness, holiness. amen, walk, uh, we have to learn to walk upright before, present our bodies, a living sacrifice. Wholly acceptable unto God. Amen. We got we, we to gotta make sure that we are pleasing in God's sight. Amen. Amen. You ask God, Lord, am I walking up right before you? Lord, am I doing what you want me to do? Yes, Lord, sir. am I living the way you want me to live? Am I loving my brothers and my sisters the way I, I'm supposed to love? You know, ask God that. Amen. Amen. He will answer you. Yes, He'll he give will. you an answer. Amen. And so you want to make sure that you are in right standing with God. Amen. Because he wants to bless us. And he can't bless us if we're not in position to be blessed. Well, what's that position? That position of being in prayer, a, a position of being righteous and holy. Amen. Being in that obedient is a position. Amen. That will be, uh, cause blessings to flow your way, to be uh, blessings to fall on you and to overshadow you. Amen. God wants to do that. And that's why he makes made this list to let us know. Let me tell you right now. These are the things that I hate. And this last one is one I, it's, it, it, oh, it, it bores me. Amen. It, it's an abomination. It's just, oh my goodness. You, you, you just don't want to be seen or in these things and these type of things. And so, Take heed, my brothers and my sisters, amen. my loved ones. Absolutely. Amen. God, Take inventory amen. of yourself. Amen. God wants to bless you. Amen. He wants to give us the things that he desired for us. He desired things for us. That's he right. wants us to have the best. He don't want us to be punished because we're ignoring or, or being disobedient to his word. Absolutely. Amen. He wants Absolutely. to reward. That's why the Bible says, seek ye, seek him. The uh, who the the uh, he's a rewarder. Right, he's a he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right, right. and, and uh, Hebrews eleven and six. Right. Without, but without faith, so you gotta have yeah, faith. You gotta have without faith, faith it's impossible to please God. For he that come to God must believe that he is, and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. Look, we thank the Lord for uh, 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 my brother and friend and, and and family. Sham White, Amen, is in the house. Sham is in the house. Yes, yes. Sham is Sham is. Yeah, amen. <laughs> so thank the Lord for the Edna Granger. Thank the Lord for Jamaica Hope. 
Henderson, uh, Charmaine Wilson, amen, and Brother Ty Cole. We thank the Lord for your cousin, Ty Cole, amen. Looking amen. for you, man, and I know God got a calling on your life. And remember, amen, there is nothing too hard for the Lord. Whatever you're going through, know that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above whatever we may ask or think. Amen. Know that there is nothing too hard for the Lord, you know, and the enemy will try to really tighten the screws down on us and make us feel like we're we're hopeless and, and there is no hope for us. Uh, but the word of God lets us know that I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. And we just got to keep asking God to strengthen us. Yes. Ask God to keep uh, bless us to keep our minds stayed on him, that he'll keep us in that perfect peace, that he'll bless us to walk uprightly before him, that our lives will be in alignment with his will because we cannot stop. We cannot allow the curse of this life. We cannot allow the trials and tribulations of this life and the things that come up against us. We cannot allow those things to deter us from what God has called us to do. We, we are soldiers in God's army and we got to fight that good fight of faith. And I know I may mm. sound militant at times, you know, but you know what? The devil not here to play panty cake with us. The, de the devil is not trying to be your friend no. in the sense of really want to help you do good. The devil want to trap you, to try to make you uh, win his trust, and then uh, or he win your trust, and then he uh, deceive you, take that mask off and deceive you, because that's what the devil is. He's a liar, and he's a deceiver. Yeah. He's, a, he's the accuser of the brethren, and he's the one that throws a rock and hides his hand, and he'll have you fighting with somebody uh, uh, that you never thought you'd be fighting with, and wondering where it came from. It's because the devil try to get into your spirit yeah. and try to make you uh, see things that's really not there. So you need to avoid those kind of things. Amen. We thank the Lord for Sister Tammy Session praying. God is blessing her and Richard that you guys yeah. are doing well. Yeah. Uh, to, and to Mia and that grandbaby and Emmanuel, that God bless you all. We thank the Lord for us, uh, Sister Tasha Briggs. Amen. We got Columbia in the house, Orala uh, area in the house. Uh, there with Lucretia. We thank the Lord for Caleb Bell. Amen. God bless you, young man. I've been praying for you. Amen. That God will strengthen you and touch you in your body. And just remember, prayer works. Keep on praying and seeking yes, God, does. Caleb. God, there is nothing too hard for the Lord. Uh, uh, we thank the Lord for your mom, Denise uh, uh, Lennon, and we thank the Lord for Jerome Lennon and, and for your sister, Kai. Amen. But keep praying. Keep praying and know that there is nothing too hard for the Lord. We thank the Lord for Sister Sandra Wright. Sister Sandra Wright is in the house. Right. Amen. You can't go. If you're not going left, go right. Amen. We thank the Lord for Sandra Wright. Amen. So we praise God for you. Amen. Just praise God. Amen. For what he wants to do in our lives. Because we got a reason to praise him yes, first. Amen. We, we got a reason to magnify him. We got yes, a reason to lift him up mm -hmm. to exalt his holy name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. All right. First and it's just a beautiful thing, you know, and I'm just going to a, another area. It's just a beautiful thing to, to have the love of God in your heart and, and to have that peace of God uh, with, you know, within yourself that, yeah. that you can have that peace, amen, that will, no matter what's going on in your life and no matter the things that's going on around you, yes, you yes. have the peace of God amen. and it sustains you and it keeps you. Yes, it does. And it, yes, it uh, does. Uh, encourages you. To continue to walk Absolutely. in the way that God would have us to walk. Absolutely. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Amen. Pull yourself up. Amen. And know that we win. That the victory belongs to us. God has given us the yes. victory. Yes. Amen. He's given us power. Amen. If we just, you know, honor him and pray all the time and don't uh, 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 faint. Amen. God will lift us up. He will keep us. And Amen. And, and I just want you all to, to know that. Uh, uh, your walk with God is not in vain. That's right. Amen. Your walk with the Lord is not in vain. What you do for God is not in vain. That's God right. will reward you. Amen. You don't have to wait on man to reward you. Amen. Because the things that man uh, 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 reward with is temporal. But God, if God give it to you, and those temporal things that God gives to you, there will be everlasting to you. That will be your joy. Definitely. Your is what, what your desire is. And so just I'm just encouraging you uh Amen. to just be quick to love on the people of God. Amen. Be That's quick. Right. The Bible tells us to even love our enemies. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we have to pray for our enemies. We have to love them. Amen. And it's just and, and, and it feels good to be able to do that because you know that you're doing that because of the God that you serve resides in you. If you love your enemies and, and you can move on and move past what he or she or somebody have done to you, amen, and forget the past and move on and love, amen, you know that God lives in you. Amen. That's right. Praise God. Thank you, First Lady. Thank you, Lord, for Sister Kelly McMiller. Amen. Uh, God bless you, Sister Kelly. Amen. Look, yes. we got to keep on pressing forward. 
We got a, a the, you know, the uh, as you were talking first lady, I'm thinking about the Mary Mary song. I think they're the ones that say, it's the God in me. Yeah. Amen. So it's the God in you. It's the God in you that keeps you. It's the God in you. And you keep on pleasing God that lives in you and in and, and him you live and move and have your being. Yes. So everything about who you are is because of your relationship with the Lord. Yes. And, you know, people, again, will try to hate on you because of that. But you know what? Uh, they hated Jesus. Amen. He told us that in, in this life you're going to have trouble. He said they're going to hate you because they hated him. But you know what? You got to love God so much that you don't even see the hate. That's what the first lady was saying when yeah. she said, even loving your enemies. Because yes. you know they're setting traps for you. And it's, it's not that you love the fact that they're setting traps for you. Mm -hmm. But you love them enough to be praying that God will save them. Yes. That God will deliver them from the hands of the enemy that's using them. So you keep on praying and you keep on trusting God and you keep on believing the Lord. Because there's nothing too hard for the Lord. And, and I want you to keep on uh, letting your light shine and being that man or the woman of God that God has anointed you to be. Because you may not know it, but somebody's watching your life. Life. Somebody's watching your life and somebody's living saved because they see God in you. They see the God in you that's mm -hmm. causing you to do those things that are honorable and pleasing in the sight of the Lord. And so you're being a, a, a Bible, as Paul said, you're in a, a living epistle known and read of men. So when people see you, they see the God in you yes. and they're drawn to God because of the life that you're living. So keep letting that light shine. Jesus said, let that light shine. Right. And men right. will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yes, and, and, and Ephesians um, uh, the first chapter, verse number three says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us yes, yes. with all spiritual blessings yes. in heavenly places in, in Christ. Yes. And verse number four says, According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Amen. This is what the, the, the role that, and the plan that God has set for us. Amen. That he would bless us with heavenly blessings and, 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 and that he has chosen us, amen, to receive these blessings uh, before the foundation of the world. Amen. To be holy and without blame. Yes. yes. Amen. So you can't be caught up in uh, being uh, 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 swift to go to mischief. You yeah. can't be, you, you, you won't have those things named among you, among Absolutely. the things that you're, yes, we, we sin and we fall short daily, but that's where our prayer life with God and our communication with God kicks in to keep us, amen, uh, uh, why would I want to stay on the ground if I tripped and fall? I don't want to stay on the ground, that, you know, that's first of all, first of all, it's humiliating, have you ever fell, amen, did you jump right back up or did you just stay there? Right. Sometimes people stay there and laugh at themselves, but you get up eventually. Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, 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 get to the point where you know you, I'm just going to lay here and die. No, God came that we may have life and more abundantly. If you fall, He give us a, a, a mind to repent. Amen. He's shown us what we have to do when we slip and fall. Amen. But these, but God is, has already set. Amen. A, a plan life for us. Amen. He want us to be holy. Amen. He want us to be righteous. He want us to love. Amen. He want us to be forgiving. Yes. We yes. got to have forgiveness in our hearts. Absolutely. Amen. No matter what anybody have done and how long it's been and whether they apologize or not, you still, in order to move on, amen, you have to have a forgiving heart. Absolutely. Amen. God has plans for us. He wants to bless us. And a lot of times, our blessings are blocked by our own selves. That's right. That's absolutely right. We certainly praise God for Sister Norma Beecham. We thank the Lord for you. Thank the Lord for Sister Koki. Amen. All the way from Houston, Texas. Thank the Lord for Victoria Miller, for uh, Crystal Wag, uh, Sister Delise Catron Lennon. We thank the Lord for you. Amen. We thank the Lord for uh, Pierre Finn. Uh, asking God's blessings upon those of us that are, are just really seeking to move higher and higher in God, that God will use uh, this word today. Uh, we're talking about uh, avoiding uh, being that individual that are, have feet that swift to run into mischief. God, uh, these are things that God hates. We were just uh, t just talking about that starting on last year. We started this uh, series of, and we just want to uh, just finish this out uh, on next week. I believe we'll probably be finishing this up. But the thing about it is we have to make sure that we're continuing to seek God in everything. 
and everything. Yeah. And, and, and the Bible tells us about being holy in all manner of conversation. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's not just in our talk, First Lady, but that's yeah. all in all our dealings. Because yeah. the, the devil would try to catch you with, uh, you know, that, that phrase, will catch you with your guards down. Mm -hmm. So he could try to move in yeah. and, 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 uh, and just disrupt things in your life. And just have you seeing things all wrong. So, but when we seek God, we seek the mind of God. We seek the heart of God. Mm -hmm. We seek to do the things that are pleasing to God. Amen. Then God will bless. Amen. And so I'm seeing some of these uh, comments coming up. Uh, Mother Buchanan saying about forgiveness is a chain around our neck. And it will uh, shock the, choke the word of God out of it. So that's unforgiveness. Unforgiveness, I think, is what she's saying. Unforgiveness is a chain around your neck. And uh, look, so we got to be, we got to have a forgiven spirit. We got to be right. willing to share. We got to look at people that God has blessed. And there are people in our community, in our churches that has a humble spirit and, and God uses them and, 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 uh, and he wants to continue to, to bless. So look at those people and grasp and, and, and extract things from those people's lives. Amen. I want to send a special pour out and, and encouragement to Sister Mercedes Jones. God bless you, Sister Mercedes. We're praying for you. Uh, Sister Ingo Gill and Denisha, we thank the Lord for you all. Praying God bless you and Ethan. Uh, that the Lord uh, will just continue to bless in your household. Amen. Because I know God is working. I know he's go doing things, First Lady, and, and, and folks' lives. And we just want you to know that we got you in our minds and our hearts and we're praying for you and that the word of God will continue to grow in your life and that God will continue to manifest himself in, uh, in his will in your life. Amen. So stay strong, stay focused, stay prayerful, stay watchful. Keep looking uh, uh, for that promise that God has promised to you that if you walk uprightly, according to Psalm 84 and 11, no good thing will he withhold That's from you. Right. Amen. So God is not trying to uh, dangle a blessing in front of us and not bless us, but God want to bless us and he, he would that we uh, bl uh, prosper uh, uh, as the scriptures say and be in health even as our soul prospers. Yes. Amen. So we want to we wanna grow in our relationship with the Lord. We want to grow and are seeking God and uh, we just got to keep our eyes on the prize keep moving forward keep looking forward right. uh, don't allow stuff to get into your spirit to, to make you have a drawback spirit about doing what's right that's just right. get in there and do what you know pleases God that's right I, I was just chuckling a minute ago um, okay. the thought that came to my mind uh, I believe the Lord I know the Lord gave this put All this right. in my mind and, and, and we were talking about unforgiveness um, and, and those of those of you that are holding on to unforgiveness, think right. about this, that that unforgiveness, uh, what that person did to you um, is done. So why are you holding on to something that you can't change? They All already right. did it. All right. uh, and so it's really useless to just harbor on that thing. And that's the reason why some of you can't move forward. Mm -hmm. It's because you won't let go of something that you can't change. Right. Only God can take you beyond that part there's forgiveness when you forgive that person for whatever they have done you have released your own passageway of freedom you have freed your own self from pulling your own noose mm -hmm. amen because that person is gone on and 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 not thinking of it anymore and and perhaps they may be gone on from this world and you're still harboring on to something that you cannot change. But somebody spoke a word, profound word, and it's something we say all the time. All right. Let go and let God. Let when go you and let, let it go, go Watch God out, is going to deal with that. Yes, sir. God is going to handle yes, sir. it. Yes, sir. Amen. Whether they dead or alive, God Amen. is still yes, going to handle. They yes, still sir. have to face God. For what they have done to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Amen. They still have to pay that price. And so let go and let God. Amen. Uh, uh, so that you can get the blessings of the Lord. Yes. Amen. And, 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 and that you know that the scripture that I, I, I Mother Buchanan says it too about. And that's one of my favorites. Is the blessings of the Lord make it rich and they add no, no sorrow. sorrow. And so what God want to give to you is not going to cause you a headache or a heartache. Amen. But it's the blessing that will overtake you in joy. That will give you the joy that you need. That will give you the peace that you need. When you get past that unforgiveness and let it go, watch God rain on you. Watch the blessings of God rain on you and overtake you. Amen. And, 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 and it's just a blessing to see people be free from the, yes. the bondage yes. of unforgiveness. 
you know, think something that you can't change, but God can handle it. God can fix it. Yes, God can. can turn that thing around. He can work it out. He if can you work him. it out if, if you, you let, let him. him. Amen. That's right. He, I'm telling work it you, out. come on to the table and let us talk. Amen. I know that's right. <laughs> Sister <laughs> Willie Mae Ward, she said, God makes you better, not bitter. That's right. He makes right. you better, that's not right. bitter. That's a, that's a blessing there, Sister Ward. Amen. Sister Abernathy said, they don't care anyway, so why hurt yourself? Why Amen. You? There you go, Sister uh, uh, Abernathy. Right. Amen. Look, we thank God for these comments. We thank God for what he's doing. We thank God for what he wants to do in our lives and in the lives of, of people everywhere. Because what God has given you, the good thing that God has given you is meant to be shared. So don't sit down on it. You know, uh, we our, our base scripture today uh, was from Proverbs 6, 18, the latter part of that verse. Uh, feet that are swift to run into mischief. But we want to be swift and run into the things of God. We want to be swift and doing those things that are bringing honor and glory to the Lord because he's certainly worthy to be praised. Amen. And he'll do it if you let him. Jesus will work it out if you let him. If you let him. Look, we want to have a word of prayer before we go today because yes. prayer is always appropriate. And maybe you have someone that has not surrendered his or her life to the Lord. And we just want to invite you to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ and the parting of your sins. We want you to come to know that God is real and that there is nothing too hard for the Lord. That God wants to use you in his service for his glory, for his honor. You may be been living your life and, and, all, and the world is telling you that you're all washed up and that you're no good and, and that you'll never accomplish or amount to anything. But I want to let you know that God is able to take the life that the world has destroyed of your life and God is able to take the fragments of your life and yeah. to make you whole again. So I encourage you to surrender to the Lord right now and just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, yeah. I receive you right now as my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I repent of anything that may not be of you. I repent of anything that may have uh, caused me to, to live a life uh, of sin. Lord, I, I lay those things down at the foot of the cross now, and I surrender to you wholeheartedly to, re to receive you as Lord and Savior of my life. And I ask that you would fill me yes. with the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Look, God is able to heal. God is able to deliver. Uh, look. And people may have things, they may have treasures, amen, they may have uh, lots of friends and you may feel like you're out there by, by yourself. But I'm here to tell you that there's a friend and his name is Jesus and he sticks closer than a brother, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, there's a song as I was talking, I was thinking about this song, some folks have houses and land, mm -hmm. some folks have silver and gold. Mm -hmm. You know, and in the latter part of it said, but you know, these things they treasure and forget about their souls. Yes. I decided. I decided. A long time ago. To make Jesus. To make Jesus my choice. Right. Amen. So make Jesus your choice. Make sure that you serve in the Lord. Amen. Amen. We got some uh, folks came in a little late. We're getting ready to go off. But we thank the Lord for Sister uh, Verne, Verne Whittier. Yes. And we want to shout a, a happy birthday out to uh, to little Rudy Whittier. Amen. We thank the Lord for uh, Verne and Rudy and the, and the household. We thank the Lord uh, for Amen. Dana Moorhead. God bless you, Sister Dana Moorhead. Uh, we thank the Lord for you and your family. Praying God's blessings upon you. Amen. Amen. Just asking everybody to know, as uh, Sister Norma Beecham said, truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Truth. That one word, truth. And yeah. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's right. Amen. Uh, 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 and so we need to know it, and we need to live by it. Mm -hmm. We need to stand by it. We need to stand on it. We need to be firm in it and know that God is real. Uh, God is real, and he's more than just a feeling you all. He's more than someone we just talk about, First Lady. Yes. He's more than some uh, a Sunday morning thrill or more than just mm -hmm. a, a Friday night service thrill. Amen. But God is real. Yes, he is. He's yes, real, First Lady. And just have a few words before we close out at First Lady. We've got a couple of minutes here left. Amen. Just say something and uh, and uh, re-wrap up. we got about two minutes left. Amen. Amen. I just thank God that we were able to talk. Amen. Talk about this, you know, and, and, and I pray to God that, that you would apply the things that we talked to and examine yourself and, and, and see if you be in the faith, if you are lined up with the word of God yes, and if yes. you're living a life according to God's word. Amen. Because God definitely wants us to live a holy life and he makes sure that we have what we need and to make that happen. Amen. He knows all about our situations. Yes. He knows everything that you're dealing with, everything that you're going through. Amen. God knows all about yes, it. He and he's already made provisions. And so don't you worry about a thing. Amen. Amen. You just put your trust in the Lord. Amen. And let him handle everything that you're dealing with. 
Amen. That's what he wants. That's all he wants. All you have to do is seek the Lord, ask the Lord, and knock on the door. Amen. And he will give it to you. Amen. And just continue to stay faithful to God. Continue to be encouraged through the word of God. Amen. To be enlightened by the word of God and be strengthened by the word of God. Amen. That's right, personally. I couldn't have said it any better than what you said it uh, there. And so we thank the Lord for each and every one of you. We thank the Lord for this table talk time. And we thank you all for joining in with us on these Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock. And we're just keeping it real and laying it out there on the table, table talk. And the the full title of this table talk is called Family Values Table Talk. So we're all parts of family. Families and, and we just want to lay it out on the table and talk about it. So we thank God for you. And we just ask you to just yeah. continue to pray for myself and, and Lady Whittier and our yeah. household that we will be the people that God is calling it for in these last and evil days. We thank God for each and every one of you for holding our, our hands up and encouraging us yeah, as we work in the ministry. Me. And we thank God for the privilege of serving you as Pastor yes. First Lady of the Ministry of Emmanuel Temple Church of God. Yes. And remember that Emmanuel Temple Church of God is a church in the community that relentlessly unleashed to the the world, the power of God's word, one verse at a time. We're serious about what we're doing. We mean it. We mean it with all our mind, heart, soul, and strength. So you stay saved, stay sanctified, yeah. keep on uh, loving on Jesus, keep on being that person that God has mm-hmm. anointed you to, to, to be. Fight that good fight of faith. Endure hardness as a good soldier. Yeah. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let nobody mm-hmm. tell you that Jesus ain't real. Don't let nobody tell you that the peace and the mind uh, the mind that God has given you is not real because Jesus said in his word, amen, in Isaiah 26 and 3, he will keep you in perfect peace whose yes. mind has stayed on you, yes. amen, so keep your mind stayed on the, Lord. the Lord, be able to, somebody has not been able to sleep, I'm praying that God bless you to have a, a peaceful rest amen. tonight, Jesus. you've been laying down and, and, and going to bed, but you, it's been hard for you to fall asleep, but in the name of Jesus, I decree that yes. you're going to have a peaceful rest tonight, yes. and you're not going to wake up tired, you're not going to have any bad dreams or nightmares or anything to disrupt your sleep, you're going to have a peaceful night of rest, and you're going to testify about how God bless you have peaceful rest. This we ask in Jesus name. I don't know who you are, but I'm trusting and believing God mm-hmm. that it's going to happen in your life. And yes. look, stay safe, stay sanctified, enjoy your walk with the Lord. Yes. God bless you. Amen. God bless you.